Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a possible major snowstorm for the northeastern United States, New England. All those areas are going to be involved with this one. If it does verify, a disclaimer though, this is only about a 60% chance of happening since it is in the long range. Uh, so it, this could easily take the 40% chance and not happen. I'm just showing you guys this because there's a decent chance of this happening. If this doesn't happen, don't hate on me for that. I'm just telling you that there's a chance. Alright, let's get right into it. We're looking at the ECMWF European model on 6 hour increments. So pay attention to the 6 hour increments because this one a long-lived storm according to this model run uh, and this is a specific n very north model run this has been showing it further south in previous runs so this could easily involve Maine Delaware New Hampshire or er, New Jersey and Pennsylvania West Virginia and Northern Virginia as well very possible just not this model run specifically so this can go a lot of different places here this is just where it's showing it right now again we're kind of looking days and days in advance maybe about a week so this could change a lot Anyway, let's get right into it. We're looking at the upstate New York area getting most of the snow as we start this thing out. Snow showers for Pennsylvania there, uh, northern New Jersey, New York City getting some snow, and, and pay attention to Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Boston. I've been hearing a lot of people from southern New England complaining about no snow. This could be the one. This could be the one, guys, that brings it finally. Uh, we're going to move on six hours here, and we can see that there is some heavier snow moving into the upstate New York area. Adirondack's about to get crushed. Vermont and New Hampshire are already getting crushed. Again, we're still snowing for Connecticut, uh, Boston. Some areas of southern New England in this run don't get quite as much. The low-pressure system is going to ride right on the coast. If this goes further east, though, uh, we're in business for you guys, just letting you know. So don't get too discouraged by this video. Uh, we're going to move on another six hours, and you can see the, the Adirondacks area of New York is getting crushed with snow. White Mountains are getting crushed, uh, and the lakes regions of New Hampshire, coastal Maine over there, you know, you're getting crushed as well, absolutely crushed. Green Mountains starting to get more involved here. Adirondacks, you're still going strong. White Mountains, you're getting more and more snow. And you see that dark blue area right there in Maine? That's where we're getting a ton of snow. We're going to move on another six hours and things get even bluer. We're getting even stronger and even heavier snow here. Uh, where the White Mountains and portions of Maine are getting very heavy snow here. Uh, and a lot of other portions of Maine as well. Again, coastal Maine, you could get more involved with this one if it does move further east. And we have a lot of time for that to happen, guys. So this could really change very quickly. Massachusetts, some portions still getting some snow there. I think it's called the Berkshires of Massachusetts. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you're still getting some snow there in, Ma in Vermont and Maine and New Hampshire, obviously. Still getting crushed in upstate New York. Uh, Pittsburgh getting some back-end snow with this one, by the way, as well. And we're starting to see things move more towards Maine, where this is becoming a primarily a Maine storm. And this happens a lot with these ones. And we're getting heavy snow still for Maine, and then snow showers kind of behind that. We're going to move on another, and we're starting to lighten up things. Very scattered snow showers, maybe even like isolated snow flurries there. Left over for upstate in Pennsylvania and Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Maine. Or not Maine, Maine's still getting heavy snow. Uh, we're going to move on one more. Um, we can see it's still snowing for Maine. One more, still snowing for Maine. Uh, now we're going to look at our total snowfall for this one. Now this is a lot of snow, guys. So that if this if this verifies, we could be looking at our next very major snowstorm or possibly even our most major snowstorm for the eastern United States so far, if this verifies. Uh, we see the Adirondacks. You're looking, I mean, in, according to this model run, you could be seeing two feet same thing with White Mountains into Maine. I mean, I mean, very widespread, you know, 20 inches plus there. Uh, northern Vermont, those mountain ranges also approaching 20 inches, but really a widespread 6 inches plus for anywhere in that purple range. And if you're above the blue, you're anywhere above 2 inches. So guys, a very major snowstorm possible here. Uh, and if this moves south, I mean, a lot of areas could also get 20 inches of snow. This is a very strong storm that they're showing. But again, this is only a 60% chance of happening. It could take that 40% or be anywhere in between. This could be a weaker storm than it's showing. Uh, it just We just need to pay attention to it because it is showing, right now, the European model is showing a very strong snowstorm. And it's only 100 hours out, but it lasts very long. Uh, that's the problem here. So from now to the 8th, a lot can change, but it's only by the 8th. That's not too far long range. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys stay safe. Look forward to the new videos. Preliminary spring forecast is coming out right now, guys. See you later.